gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. A lot of you have watched the channel before will know that I really enjoy my Johnny Walker whiskies. I do like a little bit of black, do like a little bit of gold, blue, it's nice, but I still think it's not worth the money. Now, what I haven't yet reviewed is, of course, the double black, which is what I am going to review for you today. It's uh, obviously the next step up from the black label. It has been created using a lot more Isla whiskies and a lot more charred casks. I believe they're ex-bourbon and sherry casks that have obviously been charred to give it a more smoky flavour. Now it's 40%, so it's not a massive hit. Obviously most Johnny Walkers are 40%. 700 milliliters. It comes in a lovely bottle. It's translucent black bottle with obviously the gold label. I do have the black up there. I have them side by side. It's got no age statement though, whereas I believe the black is a 12. If I remember rightly, this has got no age statement on it. Retails for around about 30 to 35 pounds. Now, obviously you can buy the black. If you don't like the black, then I wouldn't have thought you would like this. I think this was just created for those for Johnny Walker fans, like an Isla Peaty Smoky Whiskey, something from that region. The black's drinkable by most people. You find it in most bars, most restaurants, whereas this is a next step up. If you like your smoky whiskies, you'll like it. If you don't, obviously I would say that you probably wouldn't. Now, let's take a look at this in the glass. This is a copper, ambery type colour. I definitely say it's got coloration added uh, to give it more of a look to it that will obviously, uh, yeah, it's just the coloration. It'll give you a better coloration when you pour it in the glass and they just add the colour to make it more appealing to those who don't normally drink whiskey, I suppose, because you see something of that colour. Those who don't normally drink whiskey would think to themselves, yeah, that would, you know, that looks nice in the glass, etc., etc. No. Don't look too bad. I mean, legs wise, to be honest with you, it does hold quite nicely. The legs are gloopy, the legs do run down, there's no washing away straight away. So, that to me would say this blend has got some age to it to give it the viscosity to hold on to the glass. But, yeah, to be honest with you, like I said, I'm, I'm a big fan of Johnny Walker. Always have been, always will be. I've had this in the selection for quite a while. As you well know, the video's coming out a bit slower at the minute, but I thought I'd kick off trying to get more videos out, you know, regularly with the Johnny Walker Double Black. So what we'll do is we'll come back in a second and we'll take it on the nose. I'll give you my thoughts about this and the nosing of it and what I find within it. Right, what we're now going to do is we're going to take the Johnny Walker Double Black, get the nose into it, see what we get from it, see what smells and aromas are coming from the glass. It's been sitting here now for around about 15 minutes. I've really let it air, really let the air get into it, so hopefully the smells and the vapours are coming out. Let's see what we get from it. What I'm expecting is, I'm expecting a smoky PT bomb because it's, you know, it's sold as... Double black, double the smoke from the uh, Johnny Walker black, what you normally get. Like I say, it's made from more Isla whiskies, heavier charred casks. It should well have a big smoky experience to be found within it. Let's have a look. Mm. Definite peaty smoke in there. You can definitely pick out the smoke. It's not massively heavy. It's not slapping you around the face, it just rolls. It just, you know, there's a wisp of smoke in there. It's not as smoky as what I was expecting it to be. It's not a hard, heavy hitter. It smells inviting. For someone who likes Isla whiskies, if you smell this, I would say you definitely feel like you'd be invited into it. Another smell I'm getting from this is... My brain, whenever I smoke, whenever I smoke, whenever I uh, smell... A smoky whiskey I normally get taken to a savory side always do don't know why and on this one I'm picking up roast beef but I'm picking up the end of a roast beef you know the heavier charred crunchy section you cut off 
it's been cooked that little bit more than the middle of the roast beef. That is what I'm also getting from this. It's, it's, it's very nice, you know, I do like that smell. Another thing I'm finding in this, I get a maritime type influence from this, you know, I'm picking up like, when you're walking down the beach, and you have a rock pool, the tide's out, and you have seaweed which is starting to dry out. The salty sea type maritime smell that comes from that. I do pick that up in this as well, which is, yeah, again, for me, I love being by the sea. That is another smell that I like. I do a lot of sea fishing. It just takes me to that, you know, the tide's going out and you can smell the seaweed. But in the back of this, now it could be the ex-bourbon casks. I do pick up a vanilla. It's not at the forefront. The forefront is the smokiness, the meatiness that I'm picking up. But the more you smell this round the back of the actual nose, and you know, it just hangs around at the back. It's not pushing its way to the front. It just sits there, and every now and then you'll just get it come through on the nose. A custardy vanilla type smell. And I reckon that is probably from the ex-bourbon cask. This, is, uh, this has been matured in. But it smells very nice. Like I say, it's not a massive, heavy, smoky slap around the face on the nose. It comes through as a very, very inviting experience. And the more you nose it as well, the more your nose gets accustomed to the smoke. The smoke obviously then gets moved away. You know, your, your nose and your senses aren't being overwhelmed by it. I'm picking out what I would probably say to be a citrusy, zesty type smell in there as well. More like a lemon, a slight lemon. That's all I'm gonna say. It's not massively coming through the forefront of the space side or anything like that. It just hangs around. It's just there. It's there with a the vanilla custardy type smell at the back. But like I say, it is very, very nice. Hopefully that will come through on the nose. Hopefully it will come through on the nose. Just quickly, if you're watching this, Hit the subscribe button if you could please, you know, I'm not telling you to do it, I'm not saying hit the subscribe button, but it is always appreciated, just put the numbers up, you know, it gets the channel recognised more. I think I'm over a thousand now, considering I haven't posted for a while, that's not bad, it's ticking up, it is ticking up, so uh, we are, you know, it is getting there, so thank you very much for those that have subscribed and thank you very much for watching. Right, in the final piece, I'll come back in a second and we will take this, give it a taste, and I'll give my final thoughts on the Johnny Walker Double Black. Right, so let's get through to the most important part of this, the tasting. We've done the nosing, I've given you my thoughts on the look of it as well. Let's have a sip and see what I get from it. It is smoky. You can't take that away from it, obviously, with a name double black. You'd expect it to be smoky. It's more like a roaring fireplace. When you sit in front, in the house, loads of logs on the fireplace, and every now and then the smoke comes out, it tastes like that. There's a saltiness in there as well. The saltiness that I can pick up on the nose, like the maritime type smell, that is in there. And that's more like a smoked gammon. Very, very salty cooked smoked gammon. It's a bit clovey as well, so I'd also say obviously the cloves within the gammon has taken me there too. Once your tongue gets accustomed to the smoke, more flavours come through. There's a sweetness in there, like a custardy vanilla honey type sweetness. So you do have obviously the savoury, and then as the savoury moves over with the smokiness, you get the sweet come through. It is very nice. It's not overly complex. For 40 quid, for 30, 30 to 35 pounds, for a blend, it's good. And it's not as complex, obviously you wouldn't expect it for a whiskey of that cost. It's the Agio, it's the same Johnny Walker Double Black that's been around for a long time. It appeals to the masses, obviously you see it in a lot of bars and places like that. So they just wanted to appeal to your casual whiskey drinker. You know, like I say, this is a bit of a step up from the black. And it's one I do like to have in my collection most of the time. I have my Johnny Walker shelf um, up there beside my cooker. 
or have walls laid out. It's just, you know, like I say, Johnny Walker's a lot, Johnny Walker. It's, I think it's because it could be where my journey started all them years ago and it's just something that stuck with me. I like having them in the collection. But all in all, it's a very nice blend. It's a basic blend, but it is very, very nice. Now the finish on this, it's not super long. It's more of a medium, medium too long. It's, you know, it hangs around, it hangs around. You can feel it wafted about the mouth. It's smoky and it's woody. You can definitely pick up tannins in there, there's oak. The more you go through and the smoke wears off, you're left with a lot more oaky, woody type taste. It is very nice. There is a slight fruitiness on the finish as well, but the fruitiness is not the vanilla-y, lemony type smell or taste that I've described in the past. The finish changes more into an apple. You know, it is, it is nice. £30, £35. Taste, the nose, the, you know, the smell, everything I get from this, I'd give it a solid 8 out of 10. It is what it is at the end of the day. It's a cheaper blend from Johnny Walker, double black. It's a step up from the black. It does what it says on the tin. It is a step up from the black. It's got the viscosity, eight out of 10. It does cling in the mouth. I can still taste it in the mouth. The flavors are there. It's not overly complex. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It's one for Christmas. I'd say if you're watching this and you're thinking of Christmas presents to buy a relative who likes their whiskey, they want something a little bit different, yeah, I'd say buy this for them. I'd say buy this for them. You know, they're either going to like it or not like it. 30 to 35 pound. To some, that is a lot of money for a whiskey. To others, it's the middle, bottom end of the scale. Um, say you have an uncle, granddad or someone. If you bought this for them, I reckon they'd be impressed that you bought it. I reckon they'd be impressed that, you know, you thought of them and this is one that you've given them. Find it on Amazon. Find it on places like that. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Like I say, it does exactly what it says on the tin. It's a step up, it's double the black. It's smoky, it's fruity, it's savoury, but it's also sweet as well. It's got it all, happy days. Right, anyway, I'm gonna leave that review there. Thank you very much for watching. There'll be another video out very soon. Just keep an eye out on the channel. They will be coming more often now. They might only be once a week, whereas before they were twice a week. But that's just because I've got to film them, stagger them, get them out. And to be honest with you, at the minute, the time I've got, I haven't got time to do two a week, but yeah, lovely. Right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. You take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next review. Slime job.